Hi guys and welcome back to Archie Hamilton Racing and to another video where you join me where I'm in my Mercedes AMG A45S, I've said it all in one word, and I'm heading to a certain location for what is going to be a bit of a sad day. You may be aware I purchased a Porsche GT3 RS in March, April last year, literally nearly a year ago, which is pretty incredible for me to have a car a year. Um, and it was always my dream always my dream to own such a car the car that replaced my lamborghini hurricane ultraviolet gt3 rs it has been uh, amazing in so many different ways it really is one of the best cars in the world and uh, i've made it no secret recently about stuff which has been going on with my racing and what's going to be happening with that but where i'm heading to today is uh, tony's place gravelwood car sales because he um we've had a lot of conversations recently about the car what's going to be happening next of it and uh, i've made no secret that i potentially might sell it um and like i said we're going to talk about all about in this uh video today and today might be the last time i will ever see that car uh it's it's it, it could be because uh we've like I said, we've spoken about it a lot. Tony has decided to sell one of a car, which I'm sure you won't be expecting as well. Made it no secret that this year I'm making my racing return in the GT4 series. Um, so keeping the GT3 RS, it just, yeah, it was time for it to go a whole year. I mean, when I picked it up, it was honestly the best thing ever. And I, I still can't quite believe at the moment that car is still mine, um, but, that even a Lamborghini and that it just was amazing and getting the chance to even take it to Monaco put an exhaust on it uh, do my first track day in it and uh, actually do some miles in it as well I actually did everything I wanted to do with it and I feel that I just came to decisions that now is the right time so Tony is going to be the man selling this car um, he was very good with these uh, sorts of cars and we've just decided that he's going to be the man selling it. I arrived at Tony Gravel. I seem to be here a lot, don't I, recently? This car is going to be losing a friend today. Due to arrive very shortly with uh, Turbo Transport, so uh, kind of uh, Turbo, uh, Tony. He's gone to uh, Reading to pick the car up and then he's going to bring it down here. I didn't really want to drive it, to be honest. It's one of those things when you're selling something, you just don't really want to... Don't really want to drive it, do you? So, uh, yeah, let's have a little look what's here because uh, I know you like having a little nosy around what's here. But actually, 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 actually let's slow down. Um, so, Tony is selling his Porsche GT3 RS as well. So, you might know me and Tony did um, some uh, track days. We did uh, fun stuff with that car. And he has decided that he's selling his GT3 RS as well. So, both of them are going to be going up for sale on the Gravelwood uh, website. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be... Um, we're going to be, yeah, both of them are going to be up for sale. But Tony will have to get himself a track car for the summer. And I have said he can come around in, uh, in my race car if need be. So let's have a little look. Here is Mr. Tony Gravelwood's uh, GT3 RS, which is just here. So his one is uh, on the website now as well. So this car is uh, being sold. I know he loves it. He's had it for over a year. Uh, this is a Generation 2 one, my one being a Generation 1. So you get the sort of extra little parts at the front. Um, you get different bits with the aero. It's just a bit of a shame because I know how much he loves his car and he has had so many amazing happy miles in it and i don't think tony will own a better car than a gt3 rs as well uh, let's be honest what we also have here is we have a, a gt4 which is on their website which is also in stock that looks pretty awesome as well with the black with the gold wheels i think that works well doesn't it gt4 is a really good car thing awesome gt4 gt3 rs what would you prefer? This is uh, currently up, I believe, for 180, 180 around the 180 figure. Um, and uh, obviously you get a little bit more for, you get your sort of little air, I think. You get, well, it's a Gen 2, isn't it? So the generation ones are a little bit cheaper than that. And this GT4 is uh, just over 100,000 um, pounds as well. And then we have a 488, which is just here as well, which is also on the website. So cool to see Tony is gonna have my car in here. So my car is gonna live in here, but, cool to see that he's got all the supercars in terms of selling supercars not just your everyday cars he's selling supercars as well and what is also here which is just inside is this awesome turbo s i think i've actually filmed this before this is good value for money but if we're on the porsche uh, subject here 
this Turbo S 14 plate, but mega, mega value for money. And of course the uh, Solar Beam GTS, which you cannot miss in the sunshine. Let's be honest, if you're gonna be owning one of them, I mean, pff, it's good news, isn't it? I keep looking at this, it's the color. Right, the main man has arrived. Tony from Turbo Transport is here with the car. The main man. The main man who transports a lot of our cars around safely and uh, like I said, didn't want to sort of uh, drive it when the car is uh, going up for sale. Doesn't make any sense. Um, so we have uh, kindly, he's kindly brought it down in this. But Tony, you've got yourself a new wagon. Can we show people? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Go on then, let's have a little look. Because Tony drives around the country with his, uh, with his very cool trailer delivering cars and he's just got himself a brand new. Brand new Dodge Ram. Oh, it's not even Dodge. They call it Ram. Yeah. Uh, 1500 uh, Night Edition. That's very cool, mate. 5.7 Hemi engine. That is... It's a bit of a beast. Mate, that is very cool. It's got all air suspension, so it's good for towing, etc. Yeah. And a workhorse. So I'm... You're going to be doing miles, right? I'm going to be doing a lot of mile, mileage in it, and it's so comfortable inside as well. And they only come in left-hand drive, right? Yeah. They all Obviously, it's, it's a Dodge, so left-hand drive, which is uh, look at all that goes on in here. Satin black wrap. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I need, I need Purple some, chrome wrap. I need, I need some advice from you. Yeah, yeah. Don't do advice from me. Uh, I will uh, very much ruin that. There we go. There she sits. Oh. So it is looking very clean, <laughs> the GT3 RS. The tyre writing, that is going to be coming off. We're going to be getting rid of that. So this is going to have four new tyres on it because we cannot just peel this off, which is a bit of a shame. But I liked it when I did this. I know it was pretty Marmite, but um, yeah, that's going to be all coming off. Obviously, this car, ultraviolet, pretty rare. Um, and I'll talk to you about pricings and stuff like that in just a second. But, oh, no. Here she comes, for one of the final times. Ah. Look at that. Flipping, amazing car. It is such a shame it's going. It's been awesome. Front lift is currently up and the bonnet is currently up as well, by the way, if, you're, if you are wondering. But, oh man, when you look at that, it is a serious, serious bit of kit. How flipping epic does that look? Oh, it's just been the best memories ever. Um, I shouldn't sell it, should I, mate? Should be selling it. Nope. <laughs> I actually shouldn't. It's when you actually look at a car, when you know that it's going, you're actually like, okay, I've, uh, I might be messing up. But honestly, the memories that I've had with that would be will always remember because it has honestly been that flipping good. I think we're going to be leaving the uh, JCR sort of exhaust which we put on. We put a JCR exhaust uh, and the other one will also go with it with the uh, titanium tips. I just think obviously it sounds good. It's not stock but we'll leave the option to whoever wants to buy it uh, with that. But AH66 and AH33 uh, but 66. Like I say we'll, we'll have to find something else to, uh, to put this uh, number plate onto and uh, think of the options. Let me know what you think those should be. Let's actually talk quickly as well uh, about pricing. These uh, GT3 RSs at the moment, they're sitting at around 100, uh, 150,000 pounds ish. Um, but I'll let Tony do that because he's the master. Gen 2s are a little bit more, but the Gem ones, these ones are really, really good value for money. Um, so yeah, there are, there are options out there which I could get. Where do you go from a GT3 RS? That's the thing, where do you go from a GT3 RS? Oh. 720S, 600 LT, there are a few, there are a few options, so we'll have to see. But this car has only done 5,000 miles, as you will be able to see in here, right on the dash, 5,000 miles. So 5,000 miles is pretty low for a GT3 RS, and this car comes obviously with uh, the 918 seats, so the 918 seats, they are uh, uh, a pretty big option on these uh, and then you have different things like the stitching that's another option which is on it you have uh, loads of different things which is on this car which is it is top 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 spec so every single 
box is uh, is literally ticked. And obviously the ultraviolet, that's another thing which is a discontinued colour. So yeah, that's another thing. The ultraviolet one, a little bit more valuable um, and good for sort of like a collector's type of thing because like I say, uh, the ultraviolet, you cannot get this colour now in uh, around the world. You cannot go and spec a Porsche GT3 RS and get that colour. Um, so it is very, very unique, um, but that's kind of why I got it. So yeah, it's like I say, it's between 100, it's around about 150, 160,000 pounds, but that's a lot of car for the money because this, what I paid for it, it's it's not too dissimilar. So they are holding money really, really well. In terms of supercars which I've owned, this car has been the has held the money the best, and we knew that was going to happen. So a whole year owning it, and it's not lost on values much at all. Because look at it. Just look at that sat there. I am going to miss it. I loved it and uh, I can't really believe that it now finally is leaving me and this pretty much is goodbye. Uh, but everything happens for a reason and there will be another car. There will be something replacing it. But honestly, thank you as well to you all for the memories that you've given me and allowing me to buy this car because I'll miss it. I will miss it. And I think it's times like this when you look at it and you just think, am I doing the right thing? It will be the right thing because I know that something else can come and we've got the racing and we've got the thing. There will be an update on the racing as well, by the way. We have the keys, the ultraviolet key. That is a good lineup like those two, isn't it? That would have been like the dream kind of lineup, actually, the A45, and then having the M8 in the middle, which is due soon, and the GTVRS. But for now, it's uh, going to be A45 and M8 when the M8 uh, does appear. But and then obviously in the summer, we'll work out the next plan after that. I'm going to do one final sit in because I think that. Oh, you remember the. You remember all the smells of cars? Oh, fresh. Oh, I love all the white dials that this one had. So good. That's another option as well. White dials. Those are an option as well. I really would have liked to take it for one final drive, but when things are for sale, I don't like driving it. Uh, it just doesn't feel right. Um, but this will pretty much 99% be the last time I see it. The decision is made. It's 100% going, 100% leaving my garage. Um, and we just have to see. We just have to see. And I'll always remember all the amazing times I had for the fact that starting a YouTube channel, owning some of the most amazing supercars ever, a Corvette, an Audi R8, a Lamborghini Huracan, and a Porsche GT3 RS. Now we move on to the next uh, chapter. Um, we will see. We will literally see what uh, that holds. We will, I, I don't know exactly in terms of what car uh, it's going to be, uh, but we will see. But all that I do know is that I'm the luckiest guy ever to bring this journey and bring the content of this GT3 RS and bring all the other cars to you all and uh, you've been 100% part of it. So I thank you for giving me the chance really to own such an amazing car. And I'll always, like I say, I want to look back on these videos in like 20 years time, look back on something like this and be like, how the hell did I do that? And that's what's happened. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, it's goodbye, but we'll see what is next. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you all very soon.